Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mousetrap Genius. We've looked at a whole bunch of inexpensive live traps already on this channel, but today we're gonna be comparing some of those against each other. First, we'll take a look at the trap to see how it works, then we'll test it in the field, and then we'll come back and give it a rating based on how it performs. We're gonna start out with the Victor Mice Trap. All these traps we're looking at today are between three and eight dollars on Amazon.com. And at first glance, the Victor Mice Trap looks like a cheaper version of the Victor Tin Cat. But the question is, does it work as well as the Tin Cat with this baffle system? I was kind of unimpressed with this baffle when I first looked at it, and lo and behold, we put it out in the field multiple times, and all we ever got was this. This trap does not seem to work very well, and for that we are giving it one Mousetrap Genius star. Up next we have the Nest Tip Trap, which is a really simple trap that operates on the fact that when a trap is slanted like this, if a mouse walks up in the end, it will tip over. And when it does, this door slides into place and locks. So, looks like a cool idea, but will it work? Well, watch this video. As you can see, it works, but unfortunately, some of the time, this also happens. As you can see, there's a little bit of a problem with the Ness when a mouse, instead of going in the hole in the front, decides to investigate by walking up on top of it. It can get triggered without the mouse actually being inside. But the Ness still works about 60% of the time, and for that and the coolness of the design, we're gonna go ahead and give it three Mousetrap Genius stars. Next up, we've got the Mice Cube. The Mice Cube is arguably an even simpler design than the Ness. It just has a little door on a hinge here. The mouse walks in, but it can't get back out because it's only a one-way door. And no matter how hard the mouse pushes on it, it won't be able to get out. So let's test the Mice Cube. As you can see, Mice Cube works really well. Only issue is, since there is no opening in the front when the door is closed, I think sometimes mice have a little harder time smelling the peanut butter or whatever bait you decide to use. So we are gonna give the Mice Cube four Mouse Trap Genius stars. Really, really good trap. When a mouse does get attracted by it, it almost 100% of the time ends up getting caught. Last, but definitely not least, we're going to look at the Tomcat Live Catch Mouse and Rat Trap. At first glance, the Tomcat Live Catch appears to be very similar to the Ness, but if you look a little closer, you'll find out instead of having the trap itself be the hinge by having it have a curved body, it's actually a straight body and it's on an independent hinge inside of this guard housing right here. What that lets it do is not be triggered by a mouse climbing on top of it. You see, I can press as hard as I want to right here and it doesn't close. So the mouse basically is forced to go in the front of it. But as always, will it work? Take a look and see. Well, as you can see, the Tomcat Live Catch Mouse and Rat Trap worked really well. In fact, I think it is the best Live Catch Mouse Trap in the range of three to eight dollars that you can buy right now. For that, we are giving it five Mouse Trap Genius stars. I'm gonna go ahead and post the link to the Tomcat Live Catch Mouse and Rat Trap on Amazon and also the links to these other traps in case you're interested in them too on Amazon in the video description. And if you need one of these, decide you wanna buy it, be honored if you would use that link. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Mousetrap Genius because we do upload a new video every week. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook too and Twitter because we're on both of those things. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you again.